it's Tina the Scrap and Rabbit and today is day one of the Jaded Blossom September 2017 release and so I wanted to share with you what we are featuring today you guys are just going to love it so the first set is these adorable little pumpkin faces now aren't those just so cute and you do get them in different sizes so you have some small ones and then you go up to the bigger ones and some of them are just little cute fun faces that can be used on characters and some of them are actual like jack-o-lantern faces and you get them in the different sizes so I think that those are so so cute the second second stamp set is this pumpkins this layered pumpkins set and it is really really cool I'm just so excited to get to play with this one and last but not least today we are featuring these fall banner dies now check these out aren't they just amazing so before i show you my project i did cut up a bunch of these layers so i wanted to share those with you so let me slide these on over oh i'm sorry for the glare you guys i'll slice get them out from my overhead light there so this first one is a little vine and so let me show you what that one looks like so you get this vine but then you also get this little teeny tiny leaf and so what I did was I cut out the vine and then I cut the little leaf in a different col contrasting color so that you could see you can do it multiple colors I just did it with the green so the next one here is the pumpkins and I cut out the pumpkins in three different ways. So I did it with the little leaf and some contrasting patterned paper. I also did some with some of this glitter pump, the glitter orange, which I think is really, really pretty. And then also the different layers that you get with the pumpkins include these little jack-o-lanterns and so of course I had to do that one so here's what the jack-o-lanterns look like and I actually cut all the different layers on this one so you can see how stinking cute is that so here's a little pumpkin you can even just use the pumpkins on their own and then I added a little leaf to that one so super super cute and of course you can just cut little random pumpkins out like that which is what I did and I did them with different with the brown and with the green and with the leaf so with this set you can also just keep the individual little cuts there so the next one is this leaf and I did do a project with that one so let me share that with you So here's my card I made with the leaves and then I you cut out the banner and I sparkled it up with the acorns I did a couple of those and I did some pattern paper and I just alternated them back and forth and I thought that those were so cute these little acorns and of course you can have an acorn just by itself you can uh, cut out the one without the stem and then there's a layer, a stitched layer that goes on top. So again, you can use them on or off the banner, which I think is really, really cool. And then there's the apples. That's the only one that I didn't cut out, you guys. I didn't have a chance to work with the apple one. But with the apple one, you again, you have the different layers. You have the stitched layer, the one with the stem, and then the one with the front. So you can do multiple layers and multiple colors. And so with the flowers, let me slide these up, you have two different centers. So you have the bigger center, which you can do a sunflower. Isn't that pretty? And so you're going to be seeing these on some of my projects because I just love to cut playing with this set. And so, of course, I am going to be using them. And so that is the sunflower. But then for any time of the year, you can even do like daisies with the smaller circle so how pretty is this one? Oh my gosh I am in love with this banner set so you get the banners you get all those layers it's something that you can use for many times throughout the year you know the apple for any kind of school project 
projects, the flowers for any kind of projects, the leaves, you can do multiple colored leaves. And so they're really, really a nice size. As you can see, this is an A2 card. And so I trimmed it going across the top, but as you can see, you can put those banners all the way around the long side. And so I did cut apart all the little pieces and I stuck them on a magnet because knowing me, I would lose it. In fact, I was, <laughs> I lost that leaf a couple times when I was cutting all the little leaves out. And then of course, here's your banners. So awesome. So this is definitely going to be one of my new favorites. So back to my card, let me share with you what I used. So for the outside layer and the inside layer, I did use the card mat dies. It's definitely a staple for card making. For the sentiment, I stamped and embossed it with this gold glittery embossing powder, which is so pretty. And I used this sentiment set here called Happy Fall. And this one has some great sentiments. The little leaves are also from the banner set, so they're one of the layering pieces that you can put actually on top of these leaves. But since the base layer does have stitching, you don't, need to, you don't even need to do that. So this tiny piece has the stitching and the big one does. And so I added some gold sequins. So this fall paper is from a die cuts with view stack of fall papers that are all embossed. So I didn't even need to use an, uh, an embossing folder. I actually used just the paper itself. When you open it up, I added another layer and then I stamped the sentiment thankful for you and then I added a couple more leaves with a little bit of sparkle. So there's a nice fall card there. So that is my first project. So for my second project, I made a little goodie bag and I think it turned out really cute. I went to stamp, do the layering for the pumpkins, but it turns out I did not have coordinating inks and it just looked, my inks were just too clashy. So I actually colored this up with my Copics. I wasn't sure how it was gonna turn out, but I think that it turned out pretty cool. I was pretty happy with it. And so I did place an order for some inks that I'll be able to use that should coordinate wonderfully. This little topper here, I used the Rick Rack Topper Die is another one of my favorite Jada Blossom dies. And there you have it. This paper came with the little scalloped glitter on there and then I embellished with a couple of the leaves. The Happy Halloween sentiment, let me find that stamp set. It's from this one right here, Too Cute to Spook. You get some really nice sentiments on this set as well as these adorable little candies. So you can use these just as a stamp or you can uh, color them, stamp them out and punch them and put them on the bottom of uh, or on the sides of little candies. So there you go. This is what I used for my two projects today. And so here is the release one more time. You guys are going to absolutely love everything that we're going to be sharing this week. I hope you do because I sure did. But that is it for today. So thank you so much for watching. Leave me a comment and I hope you can stop by again every day this week for some more reveals for this Jaded Blossom amazing fall and Halloween set. And have a wonderful day. Happy crafting everyone. Bye bye.